I'll uh, I'll ask the one about quarterbacks. Um, yeah. You know, we've all, obviously it's just second practice of the week. So, do you anticipate? Do you want to resolve something again this week and name a star before we get out of it? Yeah, I want to, but it may not resolve itself. We feel comfortable about who's going to go out there for the first play, then we'll name it. But we're not that comfortable about that right now. So, I don't think it's as suppressing an issue as it was last time because both of them have played now. So it's not as in the forefront. If I could follow up, you know, obviously Jacob's uh, stats were slightly better than Grayson. He threw the ball, uh, completed a long ball. Um, does that give him an advantage? I mean, is it as easy as saying that, you know, his yards, his stats not, look better? It's definitely yeah. not as easy as saying that because there's so many more things that went into that game that didn't work out right, you know, with Jacob out there. So, you know, you, you like to base things on how guys performed and how they played. And I know to the public eye, he made a couple bigger throws. He had an opportunity to make a couple bigger throws. So that, that's not the be all and end all. There's a lot of functioning of the offense that has got to improve for both of them and for the guys around them. I mean, the total communication on offense has got to go up, whether people are calling out the right mic, calling out the right person to support, blocking the right guy, carrying the ball the right way. There's a lot that's got to improve, and that goes for Jacob and Grayson as well.